we have a MacBook Air. Uh, description says that it is uh, it says it does not boot, and it also says that it's dead. So I'm not sure because these are two dis d different descriptions. Um, the device, if it doesn't boot, it means I mean it should power on. If it's dead, it should not power on. So I'm not sure um, why they have both descriptions. But then we'll, we'll figure out what exactly it is. Um, so one way we can quickly confirm that is to check the back of our app. Uh, so it says uh, dead. Client said it doesn't boot and it's been approved. Okay, so uh, this is a uh, MagSafe 2. So it's going to be from 20, um, 2012 up until 2017. So let's quickly take the back of our out to understand exactly uh, which is which because uh, we it cannot be both it cannot be dead and then at the same time it doesn't boot so it's either it's dead or it, it it's it's a it pause on but it does not post uh, so um yeah Okay, the back of is out. Uh, small JTAG that would indicate that's a 2015 or 2017. Uh, so let's see if it's not liquid damage, then we can go ahead and connect power to it, see what happens. So uh, it's definitely been, uh, uh, see the board has been taken out. As you can see, that screw was not even put back. So let's, uh, let's see what happens when charger is connected. <clears throat> Oh, we also have a missing screen here. Okay. Charger is connected. We have charger communication. And we don't have a fan switch. So this is this is not a no, this is a no power. So let's just uh uh okay, we don't have a screw here, there's no screw there, this is okay. Battery screws are completely out. Okay. Mm. Okay, so let's see, let's check on uh, basic uh, voltages let's see what we have this is an a20.0165 it's the same uh, board number you will have on the 2015 and 2017 uh, let's, uh, let's see what is it let's see what is it that we're not going to worry about pp3340 because we have a uh, uh, charger communication so definitely pp3340 is present but we want to see what is it that we have on our pp bus 8.6 and then on the other side, 8.6. Okay, so let's see, do we have a PV3 S5? PV3 VP S5 is operating. Okay, which will mean that source will not be present. Yeah, source is not present. Okay, so let's figure out why that is the case. Uh, this should be a this should be a problem. Once we figure out where, where, why that uh, that is sort of treating, that's uh that's the PP bus rail. Which one is that? Uh, PP three V three underscore S three. No, the 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 other device that we did. Uh huh. The PP bus was eight point zero, eight point zero, eight point three. Yeah, now then in that case, there is no SMC communication in terms of communicating with the PP bus because it's supposed to be 8.6. So this is uh, 8. No, I was, I, was, I was getting confused now that I thought of the other one. Right? Oh, no, that that's M1. Oh, okay. the M1 yeah. Is yeah, 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 that's M1, not Intel. Okay, so... Let's see what's happening here. Why are we okay? So this is definitely 2017. It's a 1.8, and uh, the the camera I see it's the one that's used there. So okay, let's see what's happening here. It looks like there was a bit of uh, work done around this and see. Um, okay, let's see. And it also looks like the the device itself. Ah, uh, the device was previously liquid damage. Hmm, because I see a bit of. Uh, Corrosion around here, yeah, the the spare room chip, and um, I think I also saw a bit of corrosion here as well. Although this is not directly related to the device not working. So what we see now is we're just going to walk our way back uh, so that you guys we get to understand what's happening. So here we this is this we're supposed to get three point three volt here, but then we are getting uh, a fluctuation on that line. So uh, let's quickly check that. 
again. Mm, this is uh, this is the line. We are using we are using this capacitor here. So this is three fifty three bitter underscore is five. So suppose you get uh three point three volt here, but then we are getting uh, a fluctu fluctuation in that line. So let's quickly check again just to confirm that. And um, that is going to be primary, and then source is going to be secondary. So source is not going to be present. You will not have source being present if you don't have this. That's why we we not getting a source being present. And then source is going to pull up. Uh, PM uh, uh, resume reset uh, RSM and RST uh, because this is not present that's also why this isn't present so source is definitely not present because we don't have uh, because this isn't so this is going to be play primary role and that is not present so we want to see what's happening and quickly walk our way back uh, so if we so if we check on that curve see okay we're getting three volt but it does work you see it still fluctuates yeah so what we want to do, we know that that is supposed to come from uh, U7501, which is this guy here, uh, U75. So this is going to play a role in it, U7501. So what we are going to do is we want to see, uh, just to quickly narrow it down, we want to see what is it that we have on our SMC, uh, uh, SMC underscore PM underscore G, uh, T2 underscore EN signal. So that is going to come from the SMC. So we want to see what is it that we have there. Let's quickly close that. Now the reason why we are going, uh, we we kind of uh, getting locked on 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 that part of uh, the the board. Uh, it's partly because we there's a bit of uh, we saw some kind of corrosion around the SMC. So so what you want to do now is want to see if the enable signal is also fluctuating. So if the enable the signal is fluctuating, that will point us to the SMC because that enable signal is going to come from the SMC. And obviously, um, uh, sometimes if you have a short on the line, that can also cause a fluctuation. But I don't think we have a short. But in any case, we are going to confirm if we have a short. But first thing first, let us see if we have enable signal and let's see if it fluctuates. So the enable signal we can measure here on this resistor. So let's see what we have. We have 30.4. Is it fluctuating? Yes, it fluctuates. Okay, so let's see what is it that we have on, we supposed to have 5 volt here. See if we have five volt or it fluctuates as well. We have five volt and it also fluctuates. Okay, so let's just confirm we don't have a short. Uh, so uh, so sometimes uh, so sometimes you might have a situation whereby so this um, SMC we said L we send that a signal which is required by U seven five O one to create or to generate or to, to create a well. Now, if there is a short at the output of V7501, so what will happen is uh, you will get a fluctuation like that. So the voltage will try to, to, to uh, present itself, but then because of a short, it will quickly uh, reboot. Now, um, so sometimes uh, it could be that the problem, uh, SMC reset L, uh, it could be that the problem is, is the signal of SMC reset L. Sometimes it could be that the problem is not SMC reset L, but the feed where the SMC reset L is feeding, that's where the problem is coming from. So what you want to do now is uh, we can we can quickly reflow this and see if the signal is going to be stable, or we can check for a short across the board. So let's quickly check for a short across the board just to be sure, and then we can reflow the SMC. Check. We don't have a short of our support. So, the, so what the next thing we're going to do is we're going to reflow the SMC. If after reflowing the SMC it doesn't work, we're going to remove E7501 and try to see if the signal will be stable. So we remove E7501 and see if the signal will be stable. Um, but before we do that, we're going to reflow the SMC. So to reflow the SMC, we'll, we'll remove the, the edge bond. So the bonding on the side, we'll have to remove it. See that? See it also it looks like uh, there was there was a bit of a, a cleaning done around the SMC. You see that liquid coming out of it? That's another thing also. Uh, so usually when you clean your SMC with any type of uh, uh, a, a chemical or any 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 type of uh, solution, you make sure it's dry. Otherwise, uh, it can cause your SMC uh, to yeah to react in this manner.
So I'm thinking uh, this uh, this was uh, this was uh, there was it was an attempted repair on the board and. Uh, Let's try to clean. Okay, first we give it a bit of a dry and then we can so now apply flux. So uh, I'll give it a bit of time to cool off. After that, we are going to check it again. See if uh, so. If we check and it's still we still get fluctuation, then we are going to remove it on five hundred one, uh, and then see if the, if if it's if it's if it, if it's stable. If it's not stable, then we will have, we'll put back this on five hundred one and then replace the SMC. Now for the SMC replacement, you can use a twenty fifteen. It's going to work on a twenty seventeen. Uh, but if you choose to use a 2013 or 2014, you have to reprogram the SMC. You need a tool, uh, 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 SMC reprogramming tool to, uh, in order for you to use uh, that, you can actually get from Paul Daniels. In order for you to, um, um, in order for you to use a no, uh, a 2013 or 2014 or uh, uh, on, uh, on a 2015 or 2017. But if you just want a direct, a direct transfer, you can take it from either 2015 or 2017 and that will work. So right, let's, let's see now if we still have a, a fluctuation. But uh, again, what I, what I like to do is, when I'm, is a potential fan spin. I disconnect the fan because I don't want to. I don't want to uh, kind of have my hopes up. So I want my multimeter to tell me what's going on. So first, let's, let's see that the charger is connected. Okay, charger is connected. Uh, uh, let's see what is it that we have on SMC CVC now 30.4. Okay, it seems to be stable, correct? Okay, so we should uh, let's see what happens now. Okay, that's a fan spin, that's beautiful. Let's see. Uh, it's one thing to have a fan spin, it's another thing, especially when uh, SMC is involved. Uh, if you have issue, if, if you have debt underneath the SMC, um, the device might not post. So uh, you want to be sure that the device posts. And also, sometimes the device can post, but it, it's just going to uh, freeze on you, boot halfway and then just freeze on you. So that's just, just, just some of the. A possible uh, the possible signs you will get if you have a faulty SMC. Let's see. Full spin. Let's see. Hold the old key. See if we have a Okay, um, okay, so we have a, a spin that's got lines. Uh, okay, and these are uh, machine powers, and then uh, the fact that you have a white screen that tells you that there's actually image on the screen. So, um, the, the company will, uh, let's see, should we replace that for them? Because that is in uh, the connector. See the way the connector look? See that? 
it doesn't affect so that's a ground that's a ground bag that's not part of this is the main that's not part of it that's a ground bag mm. yeah i don't i don't see why we should replace it that's a ground bag so uh so let's just get a let's get a another screen I'm not sure if this works. Don't say it damaged. Liquid but working. Let's see. At your convenient time, those screens check to see if the bezels are all taken off. You know the screen bezels? Check to see if at least uh, so that we know. If uh, we need a uh, bezel so the replacement, we can also check that side. Let's see if this is. Uh, it says the screen is damaged, but uh, but yeah, I think that's what it says. Let's see. Uh, okay, yeah, see that. So we have image. So. Um, so this can be used for testing. Uh, okay, yeah. So I suppose the client will also have to worry about about the screen. That hurts. <laughs> you don't want to have a low power device and the screen at the same time. It's just, uh, yeah, it just makes the repair a bit expensive and almost uh, you ask yourself if it's worth it. Uh, okay, guys, uh, that's about it. We're just going to clean the board and finalize the repair. Thank you, guys. I will see you guys in the next one.